Welcome back to this session where we're going to look at Synesthesia, which is another VJ software where you can create live visuals, etc. So I've got a free version here, so I've downloaded it. And uh, in this panel, you can see lots of stock media that's been imported already for us. And if we click that, we get a, a little preview. If we click the plus icon at the top, that will add it to our media bin, which I've already created down at the bottom there. If we go down here, this is where we can connect a MIDI interface. So we can map that to a MIDI like we can with Heavy M or MadMapper or whatever uh, software you're using. This section is just the license. Here is like the help and the community section where you can understand what Synesthesia is. And this is where we can edit our projection map. So if you look at the media on the right hand top corner, as I start playing with these, you can see it's adding different parameters and it's starting to create really interesting in different shapes. So all I'm doing is just having a play, see what I like, and I encourage you guys just to play with it and see where you go with it, see what works for you, etc. Okay, so that's looking pretty good. So what I need to do now is I need to open Heavy M and I need to uh, start siphoning this into Heavy M. So let's just go up here and I'll just type Heavy M in there. There we go. Again, on the right hand column, you see lots of media, which is in like a play bin. And you can see the little play icon there, which will just, um, I can click play once we've siphoned into Heavy M. And you'll see all this in a moment. But once we've siphoned into Heavy M, I can then um, just work in synesthesia and start mapping uh, different visuals. Okay, so I've got um, Heavy M open and I've just created a media um, page here. So I'm just pulling this across. Um, and excuse me, oops, it is. I'll just grab that again, just increase this. And I'm working off a MacBook Pro uh, laptop, so I don't have much screen real estate. So this is a little bit tricky, but we'll get there. We'll figure this out. It doesn't have to be perfect. It's just really about showing you how to siphon this in, really. That'll do. Okay, wonderful. So I'm not going to create any shapes in this one. So I'm just going to go back to Synesthesia. I'm just going to make sure the siphon output is selected. So 1080p, that's now selected. So when I go back to uh, Heavy M here, I've got my media and I've got my siphon. I'm on my little siphon icon. I click, click play. I'm just going to create a window there. There you go. And here we are. We are live siphoning straight in to Heavy M. And if I change these and I just go back there and I change these and go back here. Here we go. Let's have a look. And as you can see, siphon straight into Heavy M, straight through my media um, quad right there. How cool is that? And it's as simple as that, guys, really. As long as you've got siphon downloaded, and I've already explained what siphon is, and you've got siphon client downloaded, it will siphon straight through, and it'll just use that pipeline to get you straight into Heavy M. Okay, guys, have a play. Let me see what you come up with, and I'll see you in the next session.